Hi guys. We sure do talk about more knives and uh, how to modify them quite a bit. So uh, I wanted to talk about the ones that I chose. First one that I bought was a uh, companion, just a standard one. Honest to goodness, for uh, what was it, fourteen, thirteen dollars? You can't beat this knife. So since I've had this knife. I have uh, used it really, really heavily. Uh, I've used it out in the garden to uh, to cut vegetables, to uh, to put them in the bucket. I have um, cut weeds with it. Um, slaughtered a chicken with it. Skinned a rabbit with it. Um, I think I've done just about everything that you can do with this knife and of course uh, I sharpened it a couple times and uh, it takes an edge really well so I also I don't know if you can see that or not but I also dropped it on the tip and I had to reshape it just a little bit that's what happens so I flattened off the back of the spine so I would be able to strike a uh, ferro rod with it and I've used it numerous times to start fires you see it's got a little bit of staining and uh, patina that everybody seems to like so much. I, uh, I seriously considered just cold bluing it, but I decided not to. One thing that I did do was uh, I drilled the back of the, of the handle and put this little lanyard on there. I figured you could do this with black or green uh, with this knife. But to be honest with you, I'm not entirely happy with this. This is a uh, this is a good little lanyard. It's not. Uh, I didn't do this myself. I actually bought this. Um, it's a good idea. I like it. So, but I find it's just a little bit undersized in my mitts. So, actually, I got one for my daughter, and uh, fits her just perfectly. So I went ahead and got the uh, the companion heavy duty, which fits me considerably better in the palm. And I haven't really done anything with it. It's it's essentially new. Um, it's uh, it's wicked sharp just from the factory. And again, I, I think I paid a whopping sixteen dollars in change for this knife. So for for what it is. And the value that you get from these knives, you simply can't beat it. Um, but there's a million modifications out there. People are, are doing to them. And I thought what I would do um, is put a lanyard, or not a lanyard, but put a uh, put a strap on this thing to to hold it into the sheath. Because even this one's really new, and it, it doesn't come out. Um, but I know that over time they do want to start coming out. This one doesn't want to come out either, even though I've used it quite a bit. So my idea was to take the sheath and drill two holes, put a piece of 550 cord through it, and then out the front, and then connect it with a uh, with a little push button toggle so you can secure it down. So I messed around with this toggle a little bit and um, first thing I realized is that you cannot put 552 strands of 550 cord through this comfortably. So I went ahead and cut a piece of 550 cord. I've got this, uh, this black 550 cord. You could use whatever you want, but I thought that the black would be uh, would look better on this. So what I had to do, I cut myself a little piece of 550 cord, but I had to pull the guts out. So I figure I'll save those guts. I'm sure they'll come in handy for something. But I'll go ahead and drill these two holes, put this piece of cord through there. Now that I've gutted it, I think I think two pieces will go through okay. And then I'll be able to cinch it down. Of course I'll melt these little ends right here. So let's give that a shot.
Alright, so I figured out where I wanted to drill my holes. And because I didn't want to drill it all the way through the plastic, I put a little piece of uh, wood in there behind it. This is a, a 3 16 drill bit. I think that's about the right size. If not, we'll go a little bit higher. So what I did was I, I put the knife in there and I kind of looked at where I wanted the 550 cord to come out. So this is about where I <laughs> So let's give that a shot. So the drill hole was a little bit sloppy. You can see I already cleaned one up. Um, and then I realized that the video wasn't running, so I wasn't doing myself much good if I'm not going to video it. So I just took a little uh, rubber polishing tip on my Dremel and uh, cleaned it up. Yeah, that looks better. So, hmm, didn't really think about how I was going to do this, so let's see if I can figure this out. It's kind of funny because you know damn well as soon as you start running the video for YouTube, it's not going to work. There we go. There's one side. Alright, now we're in business. So just to make the rest of this not as painful, I think I'm going to go ahead and trim these up. One side. serve all right so now you kind of get the idea
Let's give that a try. Well, I think that looks okay with the black on black like that. So, I know this was a little bit long. You guys had to suffer through me screwing around with uh, getting them all done and everything. But I'd like to hear your thoughts and tell me what you think. I'm also considering putting a, uh, a rifle sling swivel stud in the very top of this Mora so that I can put another lanyard on top of it. So this way when you want to use this knife you can just open it up, pop it out, put it back in, cinch it up. Alright boys and girls, that was fun. If this video was entertaining, please uh, like. If you're a more knife kind of guy, I'm going to do some more of these. I do knife videos from time to time, so subscribe and uh, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks. I love all those Ginsu commercials where they want to make you believe that their knife is the sharpest thing in the world. You know? But let me tell you, no kidding, this is a sharp knife. Hmm. That looks really yummy. By the way, I decided to go ahead and tie a couple of knots in the end here just to make it a little more aesthetically pleasing. So, my fellow More Knife fans out there, tell me what you think.